we found another issue when we drop our engine mounts the oil filter is going to hit the bottom of the boat so we've decided we'll remote it we'll still use this, the same part but we're going to remote and bring it around the front over here and hang it down here so what we're drawing is this part here will bolt onto the block where the 90 degree angle is so it will bolt on here and it will weld in an A and fitting on there and A and fitting on the back then this one will be bolted to the front here on the engine block and that right angle bracket will be bolted to the front of this so we'll machine that out of that piece of aluminium plate we've got there it's been a good uh, jigging component but we need it for this so it's going to be sacrificed so what I have to do is I'll cut that out hold it level with the engine and then uh, rub the holes to know where to cut those into it so I cut it out and the engine's basically sitting at the 15 degrees it would sit in the boat and it's going to mount off these two holes so I need to get this somewhat level the boat um, to where it's going to be so it'll bolt and come straight down the front here so if I have it about there looks good it's not going to hit the block it comes up will probably go a bit tighter actually probably want it in as close as we can in about there looks good so then what I do and then the holes turn up on the drawing you can see them but it looks like it might be a bit high so if I drop it down re-rub it That looks more in the centre. So we'll extend this bracket out a bit more just to give it a bit more meat. And that will be about where it is. So instead of that hanging there, it'll hang off the front of this bracket down the front. Makes it easier to service as well. When we took this, this off, it looks like you can actually screw a filter straight onto the block. If you take the threaded barrel out of there and put it inside engine block but then taking an oil filter off there is just going to let the oil drop on the ground so also it's hard to get it where if it's out here it's going to make it easy after all the modifications in the last video it's time to repaint the sump so i've just done a quick sand over everything you'll know why we took it off in our last video so i'll just cover up these fittings so they don't get paint on them Getting it prepped to chuck it back on the engine and get it back in the boat next weekend. I'm just going to do some prep because we only work on the boats every second weekend. So I'm going to do some prep while the old man is not here. So as soon as he's here, we can chuck it back in the boat. So I'm just going to do another coat of primer, which we use. Uh, been using this etch, CRC etch primer, pretty good, sticks well, followed by VHT engine enamel, which is a high temperature paint, so after you spray this on, you have to then put that in the oven and cook it at 90 degrees C for an hour, I think, so we'll do that and get it ready. First, I'll be to clean it with some wax and grease remover. Give that a second to dry and we'll move on to the paint.
Right, time to add the grab a green. So after this is painted, I'll leave it overnight. And after work tomorrow, I will bake it in my barbecue at 93 degrees for an hour. And there we have it. Looks like nothing ever happened. Right, let's get this Barbie cranked up. Going for 93 degrees. And in she goes. We'll let that bake for an hour. There we go, an hour later, nice and cooked. We'll leave it in there for a few hours to cool down and then we'll chuck it back on the engine. Perfect. Time to chuck the sump back on. Now that it cured, so you put it in the oven so it cures and hardens the paint. Come out fantastic. Right, clean this old sealant off, chuck some new stuff on, and bolt it up. Let's do it. using the Permatex Ultra Black gasket maker. Come out too bad after all. So I was at the old man's tonight for dinner and we were talking about the oil return. I mean the turbo oil feed that normally sits up here. So we've decided we're gonna use Turbo Smart's OPR, which is an oil pressure regulator. And it automatically regulates the oil pressure to 40 psi instead of using restrictors in the turbo which you never get right that's all our estimation so this line no longer goes onto the turbo it will go to the otr and then out of the otr onto the turbo and then we will have to run another drain from the otr back to the turbo oil drain here so we're going to put in a another extension that has a 1 8 to 4 AN fitting and we'll run the o OPR back into this fitting so the oil will drain into there with the turbo drain line so once it's once, once that's ordered we'll get that in and chuck that on as well so I've got some gas coming and hopefully that's here for the weekend and we'll finish up welding the engine mounts in get that bad boy back in the boat and carry on assembling so we'll catch you on the weekend
this was just a little prep video and I might just do some little prep videos in between our normal weekend work because it's spread two weeks apart so I'll try and get a little video out each week between episodes just doing some prep and getting things ready for the weekend. Alright, catch up.